Yeah, I'm uh, just outside of Tsetsumbanu. It's down there. I'm just spending some time before uh, the Deidre summoning date. Actually, we could go to... What was it? We found a map. Jabonessa's Hole? Something like that. Juba Tonessa Hole. Uh, let's see how... Okay, it's very far, so we won't do that. I don't think we hardly even have time to... Actually, we could... Uh, we could set an anchor here, so we're, we're close to it. We'll do that. And then... Yeah, we have plenty of time then. Let's do a hole. Let's check that out. You almost fall when the ground begins to break apart. Rotten flesh of the undead is exposed. The dead walks the night once more. Okay, this... Warm ashes. We got the zombie infestation here. That's so cool. I have a real, like, uh, soft spot for... Maybe I've mentioned this before. I have a soft spot for uh, the sort of, like, whole undead family of uh, zombies and vampires. and Sort of like Halloween-ish... Uh, yeah, I, I love it. Okay, let's check this out. Pacify the Deadroth. Okay. Nice. And that's not pacified. Okay, so... And uh, scorpions. I mean, this is a sh shitty place. We could at least practice some, some Deadric. Uh, come on! Okay, he should fight the scorpion. Nice, come on! Something happened? Can we... S no, we don't have any mana. And we don't really have... I guess uh, we have uh, still the reason of the... Uh, just uh, soul collecting. I think Tristain would uh, really enjoy just carrying souls around with him. So we have that. Perp that's the purpose to soul trap from now on, I guess. And also, if we could trap some re really powerful creature, that could actually be useful. So, um, whoa! Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Tristain. It's the typical kind of a... Uh, okay, got us back... Wow! Yeah, he's really good at backstabbing. We... Um, I'll, I'll check this out. It's been a long time since we did a character review as well. Uh, okay, backstabbing is 44. That's pretty high. Running is 88. Short blade, 77. So he's actually really skilled now in short blade. Well, what's lacking is his strength. So he gets some penalty on the damage for that. Uh, but, but still, I mean, these uh, indications like Stealth 77 and uh, Running 88 is like indications of how long, <laughs> is we, we've, how many hours we've been in the game. Because um, normally we would be much higher level. And uh, the reason we're not is obviously because of our skill selection. I guess Etiquette has gone up very fast so uh, but the other ones Deadric, impish orcish dragonish they are really like slowing down our progress so i i guess if if this guy would have spent this much time in the game and had like uh, normal skills with weapons and stuff he would be like level 20 or something i i, I guess at least uh, let's see our medical 72 mysticism 57 and these have hardly moved <laughs> at all uh, if you saw my other video about plug, plug the slug you can like uh, 
what do you call it, extrapolate from this, uh, these four skills how, how hard it's gonna be to level him up, because this is basically his only skills that he could level up organically without training. Yeah, uh, you, sh you shouldn't watch that. If you haven't watched that video, just leave it be because it, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's your worst, worst waste of time ever. Uh, okay. Yeah, about the soul. Yeah, we pacified a mage. That's nice. Oh, and a De Deirdroth as well. Yeah, about the soul trapping thing. I think the collection, I, I think... That suits him so perfectly, that, like the kind of materialistic obsession, that unhealthy collecting of hoarding of stuff and being obsessed and sacrificing everything. Sa sacrificing everything for that purpose. Nice. Okay, let's see what date it is, by the way, so we don't miss the date. Okay, second of Sun's Height, and uh, I think it was 10th. Yeah, 10th of Sun's Height, we were summoning a Deidre. And this time it'll goddamn work. Uh, anyway, I, I was thinking about this whole... I didn't intend for Tristane to become an evil character. These guys are pacified. Nice. Uh, but, but I think he, he's turning into some kind of villain. And I think he's turning into a more realistic kind of villain than uh, like the cartoonish evil you often see where where they're doing evil just for the sake of being evil. Which is, I mean, that's so incredibly rare. I can't even think of a... I mean, it, it practically doesn't exist. Yeah, I think we're just heading back. Uh, this wasn't a very interesting place. Okay, so it's uh, the second of Sun's Height. We'll just... Uh, I'll just spend the last days here. And if anything interesting happens, I'll show it to you guys. Okay, it's uh, the tenth of Sun's Height. Let's check this out. This time it's goddamn gonna work. Uh, okay, the bargain shoppers of the known world are out in force today, and it's little wonder. For the tenth of Sun's Height is a holiday called the Merchants' Festival. Every marketplace and equipment store has dropped their prices to at least half. The only shop not being patronized today is the Mages' Guild, where prices are as ex or exorbitant as usual. Most citizens in need of a magical item are waiting two months for the celebration of Tales and Tallows, when prices will be more reasonable. Okay, so this is a holiday today as well. So maybe I was on to something before when I was uh, thinking that holidays could be summoning days. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's probably bad luck. Uh, or maybe not in the world of Deadras. Maybe they're really happy. Maybe I gained some reputation for riding over the innocent uh, lady. Uh, yeah, let's check out the magical item seller to see if those prices are cheaper as well. Casual pants of good luck. That could actually help us. I don't really know. I guess luck impacts every- I mean, we, we need luck now, so... Uh, yeah, perfect. We buy those. And... Um, no interesting soul gems. I guess we don't have a mummy or an orc warlord, but... Those are pretty easy to capture as well, so... We'll wait with that, and let's see... Um, our luck now is a hundred! So, I'm expecting to be lucky in this now as well. Okay, let's see. Deirdre summoning. Today is Terdas the tenth of Sun's Height, the day of summoning for Vernima. Do you, Tristane, wish to risk your life and very soul by summoning Vernima into our mundane world? Yes, come on. Yes, 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 yes. We got something here. A old, a old decrepit lady. Hmm, so that's Vernima, huh? 
A very vi wise Breton once said that power corrupts. Yeah, this was uh, what I was talking about. Uh, the sort of evil that Tristan is uh, experiencing. And absolute power is absolutely fabulous. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm going to help you. Now I'm sure you have certain moral problems with murdering an innocent who never hurt you in any way. But you'll do to do it to win my skull of corruption? Yes, of course, of course I'll do it. This is so incredible how I was just talking about the, the evil that sort of your desires corrupting you into doing evil stuff and how Tristan is on that path. And now we're tasked with murdering an innocent and the item we're getting for it is actually a skull of corruption. Yes, for sure. Grand, the particular innocent I have in mind is a... L what? <laughs> a lich? You're probably thinking an innocent lich. Well, innocent to you. Okay. So we'll have to kill a lich? That could be, <laughs> that could be kind of a problem. Uh, to, well, he's innocent to you. To me, he is a treacherous former servant who took all the power I offered him and ignored my orders. You'll find his cadaverous presence in the ruins of Fashion Manor. He's nervous, so be ready for a battle. After your victory, go to Tsetsumbanu and look for my servant Kretza, a young lady in green at the greenhouse residence. Okay, so it's no time limit. Oh, it is. 17 days or less. Uh, we have to do this. We have to make this work somehow. Uh, and I think it's good practice as well because there's a lich somewhere in the main quest that we need to kill. Oh, shit. Okay, I need. I think I need to go pee and get some coffee for this, and then we'll plan it out. I think we need, we need probably to enchant some items with uh, sort of some kind of passive. I, I don't know. We, we'll we'll have to plan this out, and we need potions, and we need orc strength, and uh, yeah. Okay, this is a. God damn quest and a half. I wish we could... Uh, <laughs> some. Why can't the Lich be in here instead and the guards can take care of it? Buy magic. Okay, we... Uh, no, there was nothing else. Didn't I buy these? They'd respawned? Yeah, yeah, they did. Okay, so... Hmm... Yeah, it's uh, definitely going to be a pee break and coffee break and maybe a short meditation on how to do this. And we need to be fast as well, we need to be really fast. We'll definitely set an anchor here. Okay, we'll get a room and I'll rest just enough to set an anchor. Uh, and and miss. <laughs> okay, of course. Is one angry one as well? No. He changed his mind. Okay, so we'll put an anchor here. And uh, let's see. We need, I think, it, liches cast uh, fireballs. We have orc strength. Three of them, that's good, because we might, like, try uh, and fight it and then have to run away. And then fight it again, so it's good that we have three. Uh, uh, we should have... I want to have resist fire. That's one thing we need, for sure. Uh, restore power, I guess we can... I'm actually nervous for this. I don't want to fail it. I don't even know if we can summon her again later. And like this skull of corruption just sounds so cool. I will take another resist frost. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh. No, we don't have any resist fire. That's pretty stupid. So. Okay, let's see where this dungeon is. I actually really, really enjoy this part of uh, the game, or even a movie where, where it's like the hero is gearing up for something really, really difficult, and the, like the preparation of everything, it's so interesting and, and fun to me. Okay, it's not that far, that's good. Let's see how... Uh, it's two days. It's two days, and we... I need to stop by, I need to like... So stupid, I should have done this earlier, like stock up on potions and stuff. Uh, what I think I'll do is... Uh, can't ask these people, right, for our... This... Okay, we can ask about this? That's interesting. Well, you probably already know this. Vernima is the Deirdre Lady of Corruption and Decay. Not nice to look at. Okay, interesting. I didn't know we could talk about this. Uh. Okay, but uh, I was gonna... Regional... Yeah, I don't think we can ask about uh, archaeologists. That's the best place to buy potions. Tell me about... Same thing about the... Uh, yeah, would be... I, I, I want to hear what they have to say about the Skull of Corruption. Seems they don't know. I realized one thing we can do as well is... Uh, do the same thing we did with the iron... Uh, we can see what's the most powerful soul we can put in an item. Let's see... Yeah, we have a orc warlord here, I think that's it. It's... Uh, we only have... Let's see, we have a iron atronach, werebor... And that's the only, th only ones we have. So if we can uh, do the same thing, like, I don't know what kinds of enemies are there with the, where the Lich is. So, we'll try to do this again. I wonder, well, this time I'll actually look for something that's used already. Maybe that's faster to break it. Okay, the clothes are all new, that's bad. Okay, we got a plain robes, that's used. So we'll try to... We'll try to do that one. And then let's see... Uh, add power, okay, add side effects, we'll add the Orc Warlord. And we can't do any more, and then, uh, let's see, it has to be cast when used. And we're not allowed to uh, you do anything other than mysticism, so... Should we do open again? It was pretty fast, we could do... Is there anything that's useful? For us, no, I don't think... Maybe silence? Is it cast when used silence? I don't know if this is ranged. Yeah, we'll do open. I'm thinking that we could actually use this on the way. Because we could break into some alchemy stores, maybe, by doing this. So, we'll um, do item deteriorates all the time. Plain robes of uh, Orc Warlord, because that's the, that's the important thing here. Okay, enchant. Oh, nothing else we can do. I, I think we need to, uh, the thing we need to do is just try to pick up potions on the way to the place we're going. 
So it was here. Ruins. No, it was uh, this one. Ruins of Fetch and Manor. So it's pretty close. Uh, let's see. And we have four big towns here, so we could go there. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is going to be really interesting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.